Shalom Aleichem, how are you doing? All the holidays are coming for that um, very important sake, reason for us to remember the, um, the miracles and the wonders that the Creator made with us while He took us out from Egypt. Now, it's a uh, it's true that in the tradition we are commanded to do certain things um, like to hold the um, four minim, the lulab, the arava, the adas, and the etrog, and to build a sukkah, and in Pesach we're commanded to not to eat chametz and to clean the house and to, to make all the preparations that are so important. But what that really is on top of all of that is, is not to lose our mind, is not to lose um, the real intention of our action, the real will of the Creator from us to remember. And to remember is not for the appreciation and for gratitude, and for things that people think that the Creator wants from them. People don't understand the will of Hashem. All of them, can you give me the scissors, please? Put them. People think that the Creator is like an angry person, that if you won't remember, and if you won't do, so he will be upset, he will be angry, but Hashem is not like that. Hashem really wants us all to understand that He is that one that made all the wonders and all the miracles to our ancestors for a noble cause, not for honor, not for His respect, not for, for low things like that, just for us to have faith that we will remember that all those wonders and all those miracles can take place also in our days, in our life. And that's the real intention, that's the real reason for us to celebrate the holy days of, um, of all the holidays. And of course that the simple mitzvah of, of doing those things is important, and, but there is much more to it than like I can see people losing their mind, chasing after the mitzvot, after the physical side of the mitzvot, and running and buying, and like those ones that are selling them are selling in such high price, and everything is so expensive, and like why? We're all here together to serve, and like... A twelve, one hundred dollars, one hundred and fifty dollars, like what are those prices? Like Lulav, you wanna buy a set for seventy five dollars for three hundred like it's crazy. It's that's not the will of Hashem. That's not the will of Hashem that we and and then they want you to 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 buy so they're telling you if the mitzvah is important to you so you will you'll pay for it, whatever it's like it's nonsense. This is this is junk wisdom. This is not real wisdom. It's not the will of Hashem. The will of Hashem is that we all gonna be one company, one uni united nation, a real united group of people that really doing things together as one and loving and caring for each other and helping and and supporting the poor. I'm putting the lulav in the center. I'm putting two hadasim branches on the sides. I'm putting the third one in the middle when it's a little bit higher than the two hadasim. And then I'm taking the two aravot and I'm putting them between the two hadasim from every side. Why am I doing it? Because that's how I feel like it. Because I saw once a person that did it, maybe the person that taught me how to do it in the beginning. 
and I'm following this shita. It's comfortable for me and it's nice and it's holding the lulav and the dalit minim, the four minim in a comfortable way for me to hold them. And I'm just uh, continuing with that. And you have other people like my son that decided to tie it in a different way. So like it's also great to get the real wisdom, the real sechel, the real understanding of what Hashem wants from us for that you need to have the real will to connect yourself to Him and the real will to connect yourself to Him is the will to know what His real will is from you is not all the time to chase after your success oh I want to fulfill my obligation I want to be righteous or I want to to, to, to count as righteous, I want people to respect me, I want to have the most finest etrog, it brings you to mistakes, it brings you to lose your mind, it brings you to arrogant, it brings you to many kinds of nonsense, things that are not important at all. What it is important is that we all going to serve Him together with a happy heart and a wishing soul, that we're all going to be friends, that we're all going to support each other, that we're going to help each other. It's the will of Hashem. And about the holidays, the main will of Hashem in Barach from us for the holidays is that we're going to remember that He redeemed us out of Egypt and He took one nation that was slavered by the murderers, Egyptians of that generation. It's not the same nation of Egypt of today. It's a different nation that already been extinguished, demolished, destroyed, disappeared from the world. And they were taking nations and slavering them and destroying them and, and using them for their own needs and for their own pleasure. And Hashem sent us for a mission over there for few hundred years, couple of hundred of years. And after that he took us out with wonders and miracles and then protected us in the desert for 40 years. We were wandering and learning some lessons in the desert. And Hashem's intention and Hashem's will is only that we're going to understand that He is the one that can protect us from our enemies. And that he is the one. It's a good idea. Yes, sir. And that um, and that he is the one that can protect us in the desert. And that he is the one that uh, can open the sea for us. And he is the one that can feed us in the desert and to bring down bread from the sky. Holy bread, that is the food of angels, and on and on and on, many tales and many stories, and all of them to tell the wonders of Hashem and, and to remind ourselves of those miracles is only to refresh our memory that really Hashem, He is the one that is above nature and that He is the one that can make all those wonders in our days and in our life. Oh, Mom, I need another one like this, please. A little bit longer, maybe. Maybe from the center of that one. So, I want you all to relax, really. Like, take it easy and be happy with what did you do and with what did you know. Once when our ancestors lived in, 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 in Europe or in, uh, in, in, in Asia or wherever, in Africa, when they were in the exile, so they couldn't even find the trog for the whole city was, was holding the four minim together. There was not enough for everyone. Today you have so much and you still cannot find for yourself, like, and you're losing your mind. Oh, I don't have, it's not too, it's not kosher, it is kosher, like, come on, relax. Don't let people play with your mind and make you crazy. I, uh...
people are people and they will always stay people. And as long as you give people the authority to control your life and to tell you what Hashem wants from you, so by that you're losing the connection to the real Hashem. You're losing it by yourself, by giving the authority and the power to people to control your life. You do need to learn the halacha, and you do need to learn the advice of Chachamim. But also, every person got his opinion, and every person got his, uh, like, his way can be too radical and, and too strict. And sometimes it doesn't, it doesn't fit to your power. Sometimes it doesn't fit to the power of your family, to your ability. And you need to calculate your moves in a way that your tshuva, that your way of keeping Torah mitzvot will be good. Give me the scissors, please. Again. That it will fit, that it will be good for all of your family, for everyone. Because if not, if you're just going to take it too hard, if you're going to, going to like be radical and going to take the extreme way, so you're going to lose. Right, Emma? Yes, I think it's a good idea. There is enough time and uh, we can also leave the light on, on the stove, after. Yes, do it. No, I don't think we need. We need! No, we don't need. Orvam, can you please go and help Ima to bring what that she needs from the basement? No, not yet. So, um, do you understand what I'm saying? Shlomo, fine. Uh, it seems like they understand what I'm saying. Yes. I don't see the comments. Yes? Okay, so, you see? Dalek Mini, for three here. And we have the Petrog that we bought in too much money that is clean and fancy and I'm stupid why? why am I stupid? because Hashem didn't give me sechel didn't give me enough sechel yet so tomorrow when you say the bracha, the blessing so only in the day so you're holding the trog upside down not like this, you're holding it like that. You see, that's the connection to the branch, is on the top. That's how you hold it. And then you hold the other three in the other hand, and you say the bracha, and then you turn it up to the top. It was upside down, and then you turn it, and then you are bringing them together to be one and now we're not allowed to do it so don't do it only tomorrow it's not allowed to do it today only tomorrow okay crazy people we are crazy guys we're crazy we lost our minds okay i am taking a towel i'm putting it in soaking it in water and then i'm rolling it on the leaves of the Arbata Minim and when it stays wet, not totally wet, just moist, it keeps it from uh, being rotten and disgusting in the seven days of the Chag. Thank you, be well, be happy, Chag Sameach, happy Sukkot. Be proud of yourself, be proud of yourself, be happy with who you are and go and spread the faith and the emunah between all your friends and all of your beloved ones and everyone that wants to listen and to hear your words. Shalom Ephraim, show them our emunah sukkah, a little bit of our decorations. And now soda sukkah. Kadima, Kadima, finish. Chag Sameach. Happy holiday, happy Sukkot, keep up, and that's it. May Hashem bless you, and all good will take place in your life. Amen. Thank you very much. We hope you enjoyed this video very much. 
Please now remember to subscribe and like this video and share it with your friends to help spread faith in the world. For more, please visit amuna.com. May your light shine always and your request should be answered with the greatest blessings. Amen.